If you're one of the many people that's asked me for photo editing video tutorials on Luminar 4, you're in luck. A little while back, Skylum, who make Luminar 4, saw my videos and approached me about actually creating some training software for them. And I said, sure, on one condition, that I'm then able to share that content for free on my YouTube channel. They agreed, so the upshot of that is that you guys get to benefit from that. So if photo editing and Luminar is something that you want to learn more about, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon and you'll be notified when I drop new videos. Now this first video I'm going to share is a great place to start, it's Learn Luminar in under 5 minutes. Now the really funny thing is when Skylum received these videos from me, their video editing guys for whatever reason decided I must talk too slowly um, and they sped me up so in their versions I sound a little bit like a chipmunk. So it's nice for me to be able to share this with you in its original intended speed. Here is a good hack for you though with any YouTube video. If you feel that the content is being delivered a little bit too slowly um, or even too fast, you can actually change the speed. You probably know that already, but just in case you didn't, go to the right hand side, bottom right of the video and actually choose settings and you can do playback speed 1.5, 2, whatever you want so that you can consume the information more quickly. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into this first video. If you don't have Luminar, you can go to their website, there's a link below and you're welcome to use a discount code that I have which is at sky10 and that will give you $10 off at the checkout as well. Let's get into it. First of all you need to tell Luminar where you keep all of your photos. Either click the plus icon in the top left or come across to the library tab and press the plus next to the folders menu. From here, navigate to the folder that contains your photos. In the library module, you can organize your photos by giving them ratings, color labels, and selecting your favorites. A great place to start is with the preset looks that come bundled with Luminar. Simply click the Looks button along the top row. You can select an appropriate family of looks and simply click the look that you want. From here you can go further and fine tune the look of your photo using the edit menu situated on the right hand side. And a great place to start is with the essentials tab. The light panel gives you access to some simple yet really powerful tools to quickly change the look of your photo. Temperature and tint controls the colour balance, whilst the exposure slider and the tools below it help you dial in the correct brightness for your photo. Under that section come two absolute powerhouses for your editing arsenal. AI Enhance has the AI Accent tool and AI Sky Enhancer, both of which provide a super quick way to improve your images with a simple slider. If you want to add some contrast, Luminar's AI structure does a fantastic job. Just give it a go. If black and white is your thing, dive into the black and white conversion tool. Here you can control the brightness of individual colours or bring individual colours back. This photo was shot in the dead of night and I probably shot it with a really high ISO. So let's check. Come over to the info tab and amongst other information we can see that in fact I did shoot this at ISO 12800. We can use our magnification tool to confirm this and we can tell that we'll definitely benefit from the denoise tool. Let's add back some sharpness and finally let's bring some attention to the centre of our frame using the vignette tool. Come to the creative tab and I thoroughly recommend just playing around with the tools found in here. For this example let's add some drama. Now let's create a dreamy look with the mystical tool and finally Let's give the image a colour toning with the Colour Styles tab. Here I recommend initially boosting the amount slider all the way up so you get a good feel for the look it's applying and then you can just dial it back once you're happy with the selection. If you feel as though the sky in your image is in need of a bit of a helping hand, the AI Sky Replacement tool is incredible. Simply choose the sky you want and Luminar will do the heavy lifting of creating a mask for you. When you're happy with your new sky, you can use the before and after eye tool. As you can see, any image can be transformed into a masterpiece. 
The Portrait tab houses some incredible AI tools to help you retouch your portraits quicker than ever. If your subject has bad skin, acne for example, the Skin Defects Removal tool does a fantastic job of cleaning up the skin while leaving the skin texture intact. And the Amount slider can be used to subtly smooth the skin. Have a play around with the Portrait Enhancement tools and you'll see just how much a portrait can benefit from these sliders. We can finish the image with a bit of a high key effect and perhaps even add a little bit of the autumn effect. The Pro section has more great tools that I encourage you to play around with. The simple slider based approach lets you quickly see the effect a tool has. If you want to revert a panel to its default values, simply click the arrow icon. Or if you want to see what effect the sliders have had without losing the slider values, just toggle the panel on and off. If you take your image in a direction that you don't like, you can use the history panel and go all Marty McFly and just jump back in time. When you've created a look that you're happy with, you can actually apply that look to single images or multiple images by coming up and right clicking or control clicking on Mac, come to adjustments, copy adjustments, and then select the images you want to apply it to and simply again right click or control click and come to paste adjustments. Just like that, Luminar applies the effects along with any AI adjustments you've made too. So in this case, you can see that we've replaced the sky instantaneously in these other four images. Amazing. Once you're happy with the look of your photo, come up to this icon here and you can export it to the location of your choice and with the settings you choose. Luminar is an extremely powerful piece of software, but it's so much fun to actually play around with. So that's what I encourage you to do, guys. I've given you this brief introduction, but dive in, get hold of those sliders, and just see what it can do. Guys, I wish you all the best, and happy creating.